Hello once again. My name is Negative Legend, and I'm here to answer the question, what happened to Little Witch Academia? You may know Little Witch Academia by the recent anime series, but its origin tends to confuse people, so I'll be clearing that confusion now. I won't go into a lot of detail about what the show is about, but in case you haven't watched it, it's basically what would happen if Disney made Harry Potter and made it into an anime. It's cute, it's beautifully animated, and it's about a girl who wants to learn to become a witch, but has absolutely no magical talent. Little Witch Academia began as two short films created by Yo Yoshinari and animated by Trigger. It was written by Masahiko Otsuka and released in theaters in Japan in 2013. It was later put online with English subtitles later that same year. Afterward, a second short film was funded on Kickstarter titled Little Witch Academia The Enchanted Parade that released in 2015. The series became popular enough for Trigger to greenlight an animated series totaling 25 episodes in 2017. Now, this is where it gets confusing for people. The short film was 26 minutes long, which is the same length as any regular episode, so people tend to think it's just part of the anime series, but it's not. The second film is 53 minutes long, so there isn't too much confusion about that one. Also, when they started working on the anime series, there were a few details that they changed to better fit the show. So if you see some inconsistencies while watching the films, that's why. Another aspect of confusion that should be cleared up is that Netflix didn't produce it. Netflix likes to put Netflix original on a lot of their shows, but that doesn't mean they paid for its production. Netflix just owns the rights to stream it in America, so it can technically be called an original. But really, they just gave Trigger some money and signed a contract. Three manga series were made for Little Witch Academia. One was made in 2013, a month after the release of the first film. It was only one volume, but it was written by Yo Yoshinari, the same person who directed the film. This was only released in Japan and can be found online. A second manga was made in 2015 after the release of the second short film. This was also only one volume and is only in Japanese. This was written by someone else, actually, uh, Yuka Fukiwara. And an English series is currently in the works for Little Witch Academia. It follows the plot of the anime series while also diverging from the story where it can to provide some new content for those who already watch the anime series. The illustrator Keisuke Sato wrote in the back of the first issue, In this series, I plan to follow the anime while working in original episodes. I read the first volume, and so far, Sato is doing a great job. I recommend this to any fans of the show that are dying for more content. An art book featuring the art of Yoyoshi Nari was released in Japan, and it features Akko on the front with a super cool redesign. This was also only released in Japan, because art books tend not to do super well in the United States. It features not only art from Little Witch Academia, but also illustrations from Gurren Lagann, since he also worked on that show. Like, this guy has done some awesome work, you should really learn his name. He was a key animator for Metabots, which is a series that a lot of people have been asking me to cover. In 2017, a video game titled Little Witch Academia Chamber of Time was released by Bandai Namco. It's a side-scroller beat-em-up that was released physically in Japan with a collector's edition, but was only released digitally in the United States. You can get it on PS4 or Steam. <laughs> Nendoroids were made of each of the three main characters and Diana Cavendish. There's also chariot cards that were released in certain products that I really, really want, but it's super collectible and really expensive. 
As for where it is now, there's whispers for another season, but nothing is set in stone quite yet. But there's plenty to keep us entertained for when the day might come. That's everything I have for this video. If you want to support the channel, then there's a link up to my Patreon in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay beautiful and keep playing. And for anyone wondering, hashtag Dianaco.